Dying Light 2 just got a new update on all platforms and with that they have added quite a lot of things in the game. Now on PC the update size is 1GB but on PlayStation 4 it's actually 23GB and on Xbox it's 15GB which is actually huge. So let's start the video and talk about everything that has been added in the game, starting with a few secret changes. So I'm sure you guys remember what Techland did with the chapter bounties. They basically changed the amount of XP you get from the bounties from 400 to 200, which obviously made everyone mad because suddenly the bounties became too grindy and to level up you had to spend too much time in the game. Now even after spending too much time in the game, let's not forget that you actually get one token per level, which actually sucks. Techline has sort of fixed this by changing the XP to 350, which is 50 less than the original. It's a good change and this will do. Also for co-op bounties, you actually get 400 XP and for weekly bounties, it's 1000 XP. Now let's move on to the next change. If you go and check Craftmasters now, you will notice that they have a faction logo at the bottom saying which faction they belong to. And also at the top, you can actually see all the samples and trophies you have with you. It's actually a very decent change, but it's a good change. Also, there's something I realized on PC and I'm not sure if you guys have realized that too, but the loading times for Dying Light 2 has actually been now fixed. So previously when you load your save file, you would actually be stuck in a black screen for almost 20 seconds, but now you no longer get stuck because it's now fixed. Also another thing, for everyone who owns a Dying Light 2 or buys Dying Light 2 before November 10th gets this new outfit for free. It's called Carnage and it's basically Rise Commando outfit, something that will be introduced in Bloody Dice DLC. Next, we'll be talking about the Halloween event, the latest community event that added new weapons, outfits, masks and many new things. So before we talk more about the latest Dying Light 2 update, let's talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. With over 5,600 plus servers across 59 different countries, NordVPN lets you protect your online data by letting you browse the internet by staying anonymous and keeping your location private. Now for a gamer like me, NordVPN comes in very handy because let's say I want to buy a game that is not available in my country. Or let's say it's very expensive here but cheap in United States. So with just one click, I can change my virtual location to US and unlock that game, gain access to those discounts and even those geo-restricted servers. That's really awesome. Now I'm sure you guys know that Browsing internet and visiting different sites can expose us to many malware ridden websites and in the worst case scenario a person can have your information and can also do a DDoS attack. Well you don't have to worry anymore as NordVPN can avoid DDoS attacks and even block malware ridden websites. It also uses a next generation encryption system that basically lets you browse the internet securely without any latency. So if you want to get NordVPN 2 year plan with 4 free months you can actually get it from the link in the description. Also if you change your mind don't worry because it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Seriously, NordVPN is not an ordinary VPN because it actually now comes with this new threat protection. Threat protection basically guards you against web trackers, harmful websites, infected files and many intrusive and malicious ads. The best part, you don't even need to turn on your VPN to use this feature. Yes, after enabling threat protection, it stays on and protects you from all kinds of cyber attacks. Now let's say someone sent you an infected file. Well, you don't have to worry anymore because threat protection scans every file you download and gets rid of the infected file before any damage is done. I mean, what what more could you ask for? NordVPN has everything you need to enjoy a cleaner, safer and more private internet. So what are you guys are waiting for? Get NordVPN today with this 2 year plan and 4 months free with a special link that you can find in the description to get NordVPN today and browse securely. Now coming back to Dying Light 2. So Halloween is here and so is the latest community event for Dying Light 2. Now the first thing this event adds is the pumpkin volatiles. Yes, the ones we had back in Dying Light during the Halloween events, they are back in Dying Light 2. Now during this event you basically have one task, kill as many zombies as possible during the event. Also after killing them you will need to search their body to collect the new treats. Now why do you need these treats you may ask? Well because you will need to give these treats to Baka. Baka Baka. For some reason I enjoy saying that name again and again. Anyways you will find Baka inside Bazaar. Just visit there and you will hear this very spooky music and you will be greeted with Baka hanging and enjoying his time inside the cage. So basically you talk to him and it's just like the new chapters. He won't be speaking but I mean it's still like an agent. You have few bounties that he gives you. Some are solo and some are co-op based bounties. Choose whatever you actually want to do. And once the bounty is finished you will actually get some XP. Getting enough XP would actually level you up and would give you a certain rank. Now Baka actually not only have bounties but also has rewards that you can claim. So if you reach a certain level, you can actually redeem these rewards. So if you check the store, he actually has unique Halloween mask and artifact Halloween mask. Now before I go and redeem this and show you all the masks, let's look at the bottom where we have few potions or inhalers, whatever you want to call it. It's all Halloween themed and kind of similar like the Dahlia Shroom potion or Halloween potion from the first game. Some potion makes the game black and white, which I honestly like too much. <laughs> 
I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Why do I always have to get more life? Why can't I do it? Uh, uh, uh. Some potion make you zipline faster than ever, and I don't know who will be using this. Some potions make you jump really high, but hey, fair warning, if you grapple, your stamina would instantly go to zero, so don't grapple, just jump. Next, some potions invert your controls, which I honestly hate, and I even hated that in the first game. Now, there are some potions that will actually make you fast as Flash. I mean, not exactly like Flash, but hey, you are kind of fast. Now let's go back to the mask and see all the masks that we get from Baka. The first mask is called Monster Mask. It's artifact tier with some amazing perks. Then we have this Jack O mask that you actually get for doing a personal goal quest that I'll be talking about later in the video. Next we have the Spectre mask which is a unique mask. Next we have a Predator mask. Next we have the Demon mask. Next and the final mask we have is the Brutal Joke mask. Now if you thought that's it, well let me stop you there because there are more things that was added in the game. So there's an upcoming bundle called Dying Loft which will be available for free on November 3rd. 2022. Remember, it's a limited time free offer. This bundle basically gives you an outfit called Dying Love Outfit, which honestly looks crazy and it's a Halloween themed outfit and I personally love this. By the way, you can also see his eyes glowing during the night, which looks really sick. Next, you actually get a paraglider skin called Dying Love, which is now going to be my favorite skin for a while. It looks good. I mean, I'm not lying. Check it out. Then we finally have a weapon again called Dying Love, which is a baseball bat with special inbuilt toxic effect and hyper mode effect. So yeah, if you want, you can knock any zombie off the roof easily with this bat. Now remember, all these three items will be available in one pack called Dying Love Bundle available on November 3rd for a limited time only. So don't miss it. And yeah, don't worry. I will remind you guys to download this when it's the last date. So make sure you guys are subscribed to get a reminder from me. Now moving ahead, we all know that with every new community event, we have few community quests too. So for this event's participation goal, you basically get a trick or treat potions pack that you find in your stash. Yeah, just simply load your game kill one zombie and you're good just check your stash and you will have this potion pack with you next for the personal goal you will actually need to collect 6,000 treats to receive this jack o mask that i mentioned earlier once you reach the goal you will actually get this mask in your stash so make sure you do this next for the global goal everyone in the community needs to collect over 150 million treats now do not worry because we are already at 68 million treats so reaching that goal won't be a problem also the reward for reaching this goal is actually a dying love weapon charm which looks good now this update is kind of like a hotfix but why is the size of the update so big well the reason why 1.6.3 c update size is big is because it has many bloody ties dlc assets added in the game yes they have added quite a lot of bloody ties dlc in the game files and the reason why they did that is because the dlc is almost here and they keep adding small things in the game so that the dlc itself is not as huge as the game they actually have been doing that for quite some time and it's actually a good practice and guys that's basically everything from the latest dying light to update there are more many secrets in the game but we'll find find out about that when we play this game more during the Halloween event. I still need to play this game a lot during the Halloween event to actually find it. But yeah, for now, this is it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about the Halloween event and honestly speaking, I like it. The night is fairly more active and scarier than ever, so even for a limited time, I kind of like this change. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.